Okay guys, welcome back to our next tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how to slice up a sprite, I think, yeah. So let's get into it. If we switch this to display capture, we can have a look at my display. So here we've got a blank empty Unity project. Well, not empty, I've just imported the one asset that we need. So this is just a simple 2D uh, game that I created and then I imported this asset, which is a PNG picture which has my all the assets that I want to use on it. So if we see here, okay, what have I done? So this is the asset that we need. Hold on, let me bring up this picture just so I can show you what we're going to be working with. Uh, it is just a PNG picture. Where is it? If I change this to icons, uh, scroll down. So, okay, so this is what we're going to be working with. Did I change that? Okay, yeah. So here, this is what our asset is. It's just a simple PNG picture with all of our dis different assets pretty much put into one picture. Uh, they don't have any background on it so that we can cut them out and use them. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So let's jump back into Unity and see. So this is it. What I did was I went to Assets, uh, Import New Asset, and then I clicked on the well, the one I needed, which was somewhere in there. I'm not going to look for it now, but yeah, that's all I did. And then it imported this this uh, picture here in our Assets folder. So to slice this up, all we need to do is click on the asset that we want, and in the inspector we can see a Sprite Editor button here. So we're going to click that, and then that's going to bring up this over here. And this is all of the pictures that I just showed you, but all we'll put into one. So what we do in here, we can zoom into here, and we can move around using the right arrow button, uh, right mouse button. If we click that, we can move around the picture. If we zoom, we can zoom in using the scroll, uh, but scroll wheel on the mouse. And so we are going to cut and slice some of these up. We're not going to do all of them because there's just too many, and we don't really need to do all of them. But that's what we're going to do. So let's start by doing the background, I guess. So all we want to do is find the background. So here's, we'll start with the day version. And all we're going to do is we're going to zoom into the floor. So we'll put our mouse on the edge and then we'll zoom out again. And then we will simply... So it's supposed to draw, but it's not. So we'll close that again, launch this up again. Let's see why this is not working. Uh, so single, multiple, okay so I think we need to change that from single to multiple. So let's go and say sprite editor, or we'll apply that first. Okay there we go, so now we can, we can customize this. So all we want to do is we want to go back to our background and we want to zoom in so we can get this on the well right round the, the the day background so we'll drag this onto here like that so that now fits in our day background we scroll to the top so you can see that is surrounding our day background so we can go ahead and change the name of this to day uh, and let's go background like that and we'll save that just by leaving it like that and then we can draw another one on top of our night background like this and for this one, we let's just zoom in and make this a little bit smaller, like that. And then at this corner as well. So that's fine, that's our night background. So in here we can say, select all of that and say night uh, underscore background. Okay, and then we can probably do another one. We'll do the floor as well. So we'll drag in a box like that over our floor. We'll change that to floor, and then we can do another one. Let's do one of the pipes. So in here, we will drag a background over our pipe like this. So we'll make sure that fits by dragging that out like that and like that. Scrolling to the bottom and dragging this out like that. So that looks good. So for that we can say, we'll just name it pipe for now, just like that. 
And that's pretty much it. So now that we're not going to do all of them, like I said, but I think we've done four: the, the floor, the two backgrounds, and one of the pipes. So now we'll go ahead and say apply, and then we can go ahead and close that. And now, if we press on this like play button here, you can see it's actually split those four up for us. So now we can actually. Well, first of all, let's go and change this to streaming setup so we get our setup we want. So now we can find the assets, which is over here, and we can actually draw or we can drag these into our scene. So we can drag in our background, just make it bigger. We can drag in the floor. So now they're all individual, and we can also drag in night background. Not that we need them, but we'll drag them in and see how they we work with them. And then we can also use the pipe. So that is how you split up a asset pack. So you can obviously do it for all of them, as many as you want. Just for this tutorial, I just did the five of them. So that that's how you split up an asset asset pack. It's pretty simple. So hopefully that was helpful to you, and hopefully I can help you in the future. Uh, so yeah, if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.